Hi everybody, welcome back to Built Not Bought Campus. So today we're going to be building the bed in the run of traffic. Um, I've made a little bit of a start, but not too much that you won't see exactly how I've done it. So what I've done, I've created <clears throat> my first bed leg. And that will sit in here like so. That will sit in the corner like that. I think you can just see that and it'll all become clear once I start building the bed so I've done the two legs that are at the back of the van I've got two more legs to build for the front of the van there will be a support piece in the middle which rests on the wheel arch so let me show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it <laughs> Right, so that's the basic bed frame built. Yep, it's a big bed for a small van, but do you know what? By the time I finished a little bit of kitchen over there, got the water tanks in, got the fridge in. Yep, we're putting a fridge in here. I think this is gonna look really, really nice. Um, I've had my doubts about the size of the bed, don't you worry. But after talking to a lot of people, everybody said fix bed, fix bed, fix bed. Because we're gonna have loads of storage under here as well. Um, so I don't need no upper cabinets or anything like that. It's gonna have a small little kitchen over there. So all in all, this will make a really nice unit. I've left this piece unscrewed. Mainly, main reason is so I can get access to the back and I can put the center part, because it's gonna be a divider between the front and the back. So the center part in here, because this will be your garage area, that'll be your main storage area. Anyway, what I really need to do now is fit a support here, although it doesn't need one. And you know what? In fact, I'm not gonna put one there at all. It won't need one. By the time the slats are across the bed as well, um, it definitely won't need a support. So now what I need to do is because this is where the slats are going to sit on top of this, I need to scribe a template to go in there and the same the other side. Now I'm going to make that out of cardboard and then I'm going to cut it out of thin ply just so I know it's perfect. And let me show you how I'm going to do it.
right, so you see me cut the template. I've actually cut the furniture board out as now from the template. And I suppose you really want to have a look at it. Right, so there you go. That is the first piece of furniture board in place. That is not staying put. That will be going there. So it's all notched in both sides. And that will separate the garage area from the main storage in the living area. So that's part of the bed frame done and part of the, the centre panel sorted. All I've got to do now is put some brackets under here on both sides to hold this board in place. And um, possibly some brackets on the floor down here. I'm tempted to put some jigsaw mat in the back of here because um, we've got a pack of that which we've used on another project. Uh, it's good stuff. Um, I know Luke from Luke's Van Life. He's used it in the back of his van and he seems to approve of it. Um, so yeah, I'm tempted to actually put that in here as well. Anyway, I'm going to put those brackets on, get that board fixed in, and then we'll start placing bits in the back of the van um, to try and arrange it where we're going to store stuff and where we're going to put bits and pieces. climb back into the bus I'm gonna put this beam on this side of the furniture board that I've installed I'm going to secure it with pocket hole screws you've seen me drill the holes for the pocket holes so let's get this into place it is quite tight I've done that on purpose So now that's in place. Along the top edge of this side of the board, I'm going to screw this furniture board to this beam. And I'm going to use these long screws, self drilling, um, with screw cups on, just to give it a nice finish. I know it is the garage area and it's quite high, you're not going to see much of it, but I want it finished properly. And that's these screw cups are, do give a nice finish to a screw head. Right, so what I'll do is I'll move the camera around that side so you can see exactly how I do this. Right, so that concludes the bed build for today. Um, so I managed to get this centre board on. 
and I've also managed to get a little side piece here now this is good where I'm going to mount the MPPT and the B2B charger nice big multi plus and the battery is going to sit here and here anyway that is my lot for today and I will be back tomorrow working on this bus I'm working on the back of the bed here because this is the most important part at the moment to get this end done and once we've done this end we'll make a start on that side hi everybody and we're back on the bed build again today right I've had a little bit of a thought overnight I put this panel in here and to be honest with you, I'm not happy with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this panel out back out and make a panel that will cover all of this here including over the wheel arch um, I don't know what you think but it just doesn't feel finished so I'm going to take this off create a template of this arch and then recut this board right so I've drawn a template and cut it out and I've added this bit of wood to the edge of it that makes a full template for the arch now I've done that, I need to go over and cut a new piece of wood. When I've done that, I'll be back to you and we'll fit it. Right, so I've managed to cut out that piece of wood. Or should I say piece of furniture board? It's not wood, it's furniture board. Look at that, perfect fit. I prefer that and just the straight cut across I had before. It looks a lot nicer. Right, so... I need to screw this back into place. What I do is I go to the other side and put another one in from the back of this. Nicely fixed. And that's the perfect board to mount the electrics on. And the battery's going to sit down here and the multiplus will be sat over here. Yeah, we're getting there. Hiya and welcome back this morning. I was going to carry on filming the bed today but it, to be honest with you I think I've got enough footage with this first part of the bed build that I'll have to split up a little bit. Anyway so I hope you enjoyed what I've done up till now with the bed and I hope you like it. I hope you like the design. Let me know what you think. Please give me a thumbs up. Please please subscribe. It really doesn't cost a penny to subscribe. I just want you to watch my videos, enjoy them as much as I do making them. Anyway, so part one of bed build over and I hope you're staying safe, I hope you're staying well and most of all staying very, very happy. Bye for now.